market our daily program on nifty and bank nifty analysis we don't do dollar analysis anymore because obviously dollar is dead dollar is not dead dollar trading on exchange is dead uh, but anyway um, very crucial week shaping up in nifty without further ado let me jump right into the analysis and let's see what market holds for us this week obviously market opens after ramnami tomorrow and last week we had said on our closing that if he's forming a negative candle at the middle of the trend line bank nifty also forming a negative candle 22000 could be a level that could be tested is something which we said we said uh, everything is looking weak and if the channel breaks it might make sense to sell uh, bear call spreads on upticks uh, basically we expected negativity and we also expected some support around 22200 right so now that both of these milestones are done what next and most importantly what do we do on the last day of the expiry see for one nifty is still in this uh, channel right it has not departed away from this channel we are still in this channel uh, it doesn't matter which way we draw this channel as of now it looks like we have broken the middle of the channel and now we are below 50 dma also right it's a doji candle spinning top so nifty forming indecision doji spinning top candle bank nifty also forming doji spinning top So both of them are on negative candles on daily. So that's one. Now because tomorrow is almost, let, let's just see what this week is looking like, right? Oh, this is actually pretty bad because there's a shooting star last week and there is a confirmation of the shooting star on Nifty. Again. A uh, gravestone doji and a confirmation of the gravestone doji. So, on weekly time frame, Nifty confirming shooting star, Bank Nifty confirming a gravestone doji. Both of these are pretty bad. both negative on weekly on weekly time frame there's no question that nifty and bank nifty are both looking pretty bad because if the founder confirmed a reversal candle bank nifty is also as of now looking like it's confirming a reversal candle unless of course something magical happens thursday and uh, friday right now let's go to option chain i have zero hopes left there but here right <laughs> Sorry, not option chain. Open interest is what we have to look at. Yeah. 22200 had called writing. Overall, overall it is anybody's game. 22200 has some resistance and support. So basically, it's a mixed verdict at 22200. It has support and resistance. It's a very split uh, option chain. 22000 has support. 22200. 100 has some support, 20 to 200 has resistance and support. Um, looks like a weak. Um, I'll be very surprised if um, there is a mega rally or something tomorrow. I will be very surprised if there's a mega down move also. It's a very balanced option chain. 22,000 support, resistance. Most of the 22, 200 resistances the uh, calls were added on wednesday sorry on uh, tuesday right i mean doesn't mean anything i'm just saying that the 22200 calls are a very recent phenomenon these boys added it 
PCR is neutral, slightly neutral to weak, uh, 0.6 overall, slightly weak, 0.8 around ATM, neutral. So one is neutral, the other is weak. Now this is what is the most important thing. Oh God, no. So retail is short calls, but they are also short puts in a major way. Uh, pro is short calls. I mean, this you have to ignore it. They're not bullish. They're actually slightly bearish. The change which you're seeing here is actually bank nifty expiry ka change. All of these changes are bank nifty expiry. So you have to ignore this on bank nifty expiry day. Uh, but basically, see, I mean, uh, Pro is, if FII is long call and long put, that's fine. Pro is short call, slightly long puts and retail is, so all the FII puts are coming from retail. Retail is short 4L puts and slightly short calls, right? Uh, Pro is slightly short calls and long puts. FII is short long puts. Market may not have a big upside, some downside possible. I don't know if this is the reversal which we have been talking about for the last two years. That's what is kind of bothering me right now. But if it is the reversal, it's too early, that's all. And maybe it's not too early, right? April, we are already at April. We said that if there's a fall, it will come in Q2 of 2024. This is Q2, right? I mean, if it's not now, then when May or I don't know. Uh, if I sold 3000 crores in futures, that's a significant number. Mm. If I sold 3000 CR in futures, and if I sold 4,500 CR verdict, maybe more downside. So I think there's a possibility that we may see a downside in Nifty all the way to possibly, I mean, but th that's a problem, right? The, I don't want to comment that because this is a 50 DMA. It has been broken. Now, the question is, will it come and test all the way to 21,700? Now, that is debatable because if you look at the previous break of 50 DMA, right, which was here, it didn't last. It immediately went back. So if I were to apply the same logic I'm applying now, I would think that, uh, okay, uh, Nifty has broken below the middle of the channel. So maybe it will go all the way. To, but if I had thought the same thing here, then it didn't work out. Right. So the other thing we can do is what if this is not the channel that possibility plenty of uh, people have been commenting that there could be a very different channel at play and their channel is this now because they have told me this, I'll just highlight this. So how they are constructing the channel is they're assuming that these two were wrong fits, right? These two dojis you're seeing and their channel is uh, this. Now I am not sure if this is a good fit but people have told me this so I'm just drawing it for the sake of everybody who has drawn it. So this is one more channel which they have drawn. Many users have written to us saying that this could be the channel but let me put it this way right. I am not very certain where the bottom can be or is it even a reversal so see if it's a so like i said earlier right when we were doing the original analysis a few days back 
we were saying that there's a possibility that nifty can consolidate here and crack down test the middle go down further and then it can either crack down let me just uh, take my drawing pen I misspelled week. Where did I misspell week? Ah, sorry, week. Thank you, thank you. There are multiple possibilities which we highlighted in our earlier episode. One is that we thought it can it can throw a consolidate here and break out. Then we thought maybe it can crack SA. Then we thought maybe it can go down and bounce up. These are all the possibilities. But right now, if I have to think of it as uh, in a sane manner, see, as long as we are in the middle of this channel, there's a possibility that as in below the middle of this channel, we can go down, right? That's one thing. The other reason why I think it can go down is, see, this is a terrible weekly candle, right? I'll tell you why. We had a shooting star and then we have a confirmation for a shooting star. If there's a shooting star and there's a co confirmation for a shooting star, then the third week also is usually negative, which could mean we can test 21800 ish, right? So shooting star confirmation third candle could be 21800 right so on a weekly time frame nifty is pretty looking pretty bad unless of course tomorrow and day after happens to be a rally and we get some kind of a close like 20 to 300 or something which is a which will invalidate the confirmation and become like a, a bullish hammer then there's a problem so on friday if we close around 20 to 300 then we have a bullish hammer so the shooting star is not getting confirmed but if friday we have a red candle here then the confirmation of shooting star is there and next week also can be negative right similarly in bank nifty gravestone doji confirmation if this continues like this tomorrow uh, next week could be again bad and we could we can go all the way to um, 46600 or 4600 or whichever is this level right but if there's a pull back from here and if we close above 47,800 or something then this is a bullish hammer and maybe there is hope for the market but long story short so if I were to say what should you do tomorrow I have a very simple idea don't try to be a hero don't try to find out where the bottom is right see a lot of people try to predict the bottom before the bottom happens and they try to uh, buy um, uh, what do you say they try to buy puts sorry calls uh, well in advance so it's not a good idea to buy futures tomorrow or calls tomorrow to think that boss itna gira or kitna girega let me try to take a contrarian trade here try to catch the bottom etc that is not a good idea. So I think um, as long as there is some kind of a support forming, it still makes sense to be short uh, uh, the market, right? Uh, so do not try to find the bottom till we have a support or a reversal candle right trades i am not doing anything tomorrow no point in doing that weekly uh, i mean uh, away tomorrow weekly candle will give better clarity will trade based on friday's close and i'll tell you what is the reason why i am doing this right See, 
this is a 50 DMA. If this 50 DMA again acts as a support and it goes back and test this middle of the channel because there's a gap here, right? Uh, and then it's able to claw back above this thing, then a short will have a very bad outcome and market might just rally. Now, I know it's very unlikely given FIA short futures and there's a lot of selling in cash, etc. But it can still happen, right? So if I go short here and if there's a pullback, it might end badly. But I can comfortably take that shot at the end of the week if this candle is a big red candle, both for Nifty and for Bank Nifty. But if I take a shot tomorrow and if a pullback happens, there are two problems. One is on the daily time frame itself, you're making a delta loss. More importantly, the weekly candle, which is the Maribozu here, will become a hammer. And then next week it will rally up further. So taking a positional trade for next week is not a good idea for the simple reason that on Friday evening, I can trade a con confirmed candle rather than jump into it tomorrow and probably uh, suffer from a potential reversal, right? So I'll, and, and again, there's a lot of news flow emerging from the entire Middle East, all of that. So maybe, maybe let's not try to gamble. I'm doing a lot of, uh, sorry, I think, what, what spelling? I think, what spelling did I do now? Weekly candle, oh, weekly candle will give better glide. So basically as disappointing as it sounds, Tomorrow, if there is a bounce back, then I'll look for it. And day after tomorrow, if the bounce back is still stable, then we have a bullish uh, um, a, uh, hammer and then I would um, trade that. So basically, my trading strategy is very simple. If this candle becomes a bullish hammer because of a pullback, I'll probably enter longs, especially if it closes above the middle of the channel. But if this candle stays this way on Friday, then this is a confirmation of a shooting star. I don't have any business being long. I'll probably be short, short till 21,800 at least, right? So pullback, I'll bet on the reversal. If the candle stays this week, I this way, I'll short for Friday for probably a target of 21,800 or something, right? Because, because uh, anything else is trying to speculate without the confirmation of a candle, especially when there's a 50 DMA here, so this is thoda hero banne wala trade. I don't want to do the hero banne wala trade. I'll rather trade this uncertainty of a closed candle than trade this. And also, obviously, one more thing is that tomorrow, all this data will reset. Basically, this entire thing will reset because tomorrow is expiry. So I'll have more clarity day after tomorrow than this. And I'll understand how much of this is for this expiry and how much of this is going to stay. The rollover data will also be clear. So yeah. So that uh, Vivek is asking is lack of guts reason for mostly no trades. Yes, Vivek, absolutely. I have a severe problem of lack of guts and at lack of guts is something which helps you survive in the market for very long. I do not know too many gutsy traders who have survived for several years. So nahi bhaiya, I mean, guts nahi chahiye. Hum to matlab aise khush hai. And I think we have to yeah, do that. Siddhesh yaar piche bad gaya yaar ab to. But anyway, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual,